be released on California's high-speed rail project. It's expected to show critical details on the plan. CBS 13's Sean Bennett joining us live from the high-speed rail authority in downtown Sacramento with details. Sean, good morning. Well, hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, and I think a lot of people in the community want some answers as to where it stands right now. It's been a project that's been talked about for some time now. People want to know when are some of the tracks going to be laid? Where are the routes going to be? When's the project going to be completed? How much more money? It's already taken on a lot of money, this project. Well, here in downtown Sacramento, this is the headquarters. We're expected to get those answers sometime today. Now, they're going to include the timelines, the cost estimates, and other details about the plan. Its new chief executive, Brian Kelly, is promising more transparency with the public about the project's challenges. The most recent plan put estimated costs at $64 billion, with plans to run trains between San Jose to Bakersfield by 2025 and the full route from San Francisco to Los Angeles by 2029. Now, the project has faced delays, overruns, including a recent $3 billion hike for a 119 mile long track in the Central Valley. Now, the project officially broke ground about three years ago, and about 1,600 people are working on the ground in Fresno, Madera, and Kings counties, doing foundation work, pouring concrete, and setting forms for structures. So it all comes down to today. More answers expected later on. Guys, we'll send it back to you. All right. John Bennett reporting live from downtown Sacramento with an update on that new plan and the details coming later on. Thank you, Sean.